Hello, and this is Growing FPV. And today I am going to turn around and I'm going to take off all of the unnecessary accessories that are on the Diatone Taycan 3. Uh, the model that I have actually has the LEDs in, in the ducts and stuff like that. I'm going to get rid of that and I'm in the foam and I'm just going to run it with uh, the carbon fiber on the top and the bottom. Uh, what that's going to do is going to take off some weight and I'll measure everything and kind of show you just how, how much it, it all weighs. Uh, it also creates wind resistance and just it's unnecessary. The lights are cool. They're very cool. And here's like a quick little shot of what it looks like at night with these lights. But I don't need that. I don't, I don't need that at all. Again, this was a 80 something dollar as is model that I purchased from uh, Race Day Quads. So I didn't have much of a choice. It was the only one that was available. I would have went with the other one, but regardless, the LEDs is a pretty cool little feature to have if I ever want to put it back in. So let's get started on that. <laughs> all right so let's get started now i have not ever done this before so i'm not 100 percent certain um how well or how how it's actually put into here so i'm just gonna dig in and find out First thing I'm going to do is remove the top plate. All right. Oh, well, this is the top piece. Something's rattling. I think something. There we go. Need that offset there, and see that one is off. That one's clear. I think all I should have to do is just remove these, which is going to require these my hemostats. Very handy tool, hemostats. And very inexpensive. All right, <clears throat> so that one's removed. So this should come right, there we go. Just like that. And this should just slide right up. And that's pretty easy. Now, normally I would say when you're working on it, take off your props just for safety reasons. But I'm not hooking up a battery to this by any in any way. So I'm not worried about the props. But if you are planning on hooking in a battery and doing stuff like that, always take off your props. Always. All right, so now that's out of the way. Flip it over. That should just kind of come out. No, don't tell me that. I gotta take the, I gotta take the stack apart. That's lovely. Well, maybe not. Maybe it'll fit through. Okay, so here's a front one, and that weighs. Oh, well, I got these standoffs in there. Okay, get those out, because those are going back on. All right. 
So 13 grams each. Might as well get the other one out I'm right here. Trusty hemostats to the rescue. Ah, I do have to desolder. Okay. Looks like a mess, but not really. It's an organized mess. Let's just call it that. Right top, clean it off. Get rid of this. Sometimes with these little soldering pads, you gotta be kind of careful. You don't wanna take the actual pad off, which I have had happen from pulling a little bit too hard. You just gotta be careful with them. There we go. All right, let's see what the total weight is. All right, total removed weight. Let's go ahead and put that right there. Oh. I got these ones. 56. Seventy-three grams I'm taking off of this quad because of these things. That's seventy-three grams. That's what? Almost three GoPros, naked GoPros. That's that's quite a bit of quite a bit of weight. This actually is a heavy little thing too. Jeez. So yeah, I mean a naked GoPro I think is what twenty-four grams roughly 25 grams so yeah that's how much weight is going to be reduced off of this quad just for some lights and foam that really is i, I guess the foam could be considered useful but no thanks good without it
All right, and that's it. That's how you take all the added unnecessary crap like this off of the Diatone Take Can 3 inch that has the LED system, uh, lighting system on. And now it looks much better, should fly much better um, with this setup. And the reason is, is it'll allow for wind to pass through. Uh, you don't have, uh, what was it again, like 75 or 78 grams of weight uh, added to it, which is just kind of messing everything up. Let me just go ahead. And... So 74 grams. That's why I shaved off of there, was 74 grams. And I know this isn't the GoPro Hero, uh, naked hero, but I'll just throw the heavier thing on there, which is the SMO 4K. The SMO 4K weighs in at 33, and my naked GoPro weighs less. I think the naked GoPro is around 24 to 27, somewhere right around there. Um, so that just shows you how many GoPros you could actually add to this thing to, to equate to the same weight. Now, at the same time, the weight is in a, a unique place. Um, I'm going to use it on the downward angle here, uh, camera. So you have all this added weight outside here. On top of that, you have the screws, you have the standoffs, you have uh, the carbon fiber uh, of the, the prop guards. And then you add the weight of this on the exterior plus the wind. And that's going to cause you some issues because, I mean, realistically, um, a more efficient use is like, like here. Like, let, let's use this as an example. Um, so on the outside, there is no added weight. There's no added resistance. So when this thing is, is flying and it's turning, it's not getting this, this resistance on it. And I mean, it, don't quote me on this. I could be totally 100% incorrect with what I'm saying, but this is how I take it. And this is how I, I, I think that it works. Um, from my own just experience with, with between center whoops and like a freestyle um, five inch or three inch or whichever um, that with that added weight and re wind resistance out here uh, when it goes to turn and bank it, it kind of just it, it messes with the quad a little bit it messes with the um, flight controller and stuff like that and it causes some goofy little issues. So hopefully this will fly just fine. And I know that that's mostly in the tune um, and that's easily fixable in the tune. Uh, from what I understand, I just said heck with it. I don't need that extra added weight onto here. And I want it just like this to be a lot more efficient, a lot lighter, and really cooler looking. I mean, you can see all the way through it. You know, it's kind of neat. Um, yeah. So that's today's video. And, you know, hit the like, comment, uh, correct me, please. Uh, I, I know I come on here and sometimes I say things that it doesn't mean I'm, it doesn't mean that I'm right. It doesn't mean that everything I say is, is right. Um, it's not a lot of, a lot of times, you know, I didn't research that whole thing with the physics, with the, with the weight on the outside of the, of the props and everything like that. That's just simply, uh, me just kind of coming up with that thought with that idea. So yeah, I hope this you enjoyed. Like I said, click the like, subscribe, comment, call me an idiot. Say you like it, whatever you want to do. It's a free country. So enjoy.